We're gonna have a deal in a minute, aren't we? positive comments on the last video we did missus has nicked my car because she's looking after our niece today so i'm in the ripper i've also got to take this to get an mot so it is so cold so stay tuned just waiting for the car to warm up anyone else into christmas music i love it it's relaxing So we've got to have good energy to start the day. I'm going to meet Stephen down the unit now where you've got loads of bikes coming down and uh, I'll show you in the video anyway. Thanks for watching. We've just bought this. Well, Stephen's bought this, haven't you, Stephen? Yep. What can you tell us about it? So this is a 2020 KTM SX125. Yep. It has done the low hours. Just under 32 hours from you. Really clean, isn't it? Really, really clean bike. And how much is this one? This is 3995. Okay, four grand, and you're going to get a bike as clean as that. Really nice bit of kit, that. If you guys are interested, it's on our website and it is currently available. That is a really nice bike. I don't think this will hang around long. When you get low hour clean bikes like this, they seem to fly out the door. So that's available. Hey, what you got there, Stephen? A bike? Is that coming part exchange? Part exchange. This is a 2018 SX 150. A 150? 150, yeah. Okay, cool. And what we're going to do to it, obviously get some graphics put on it. Change the seat cover. Yep. Um, and obviously give it a good, good wash. Yeah, okay. So it's going to get serviced, prepped and ready for sale. But this is how it's come in. As Stephen's just said, he took it in part exchange. This is all part of the fun. I look forward to seeing the transformation. And yeah, that seat cover is awful. So we're going to make this look fairly standard, are we? Yeah. Nice. Cool bike. 2018 SX150. It's in the van today, Stephen. We have this lovely 2022 Talaria Sting R. Okay. And we've got some... Are the tyres that were on it? They were on it, yeah. Wow. That's finished. We've got brand new tyres here ready for these bikes. So this is a 2022 Sting R. And this is a slightly quicker one. It's nice, yeah. Nice tyres. This is going to come up for sale very soon. So we've got two of these in stock, and I think we've got a third coming very, very soon. What's in the van today, Stephen? They're really popular, them videos. We do them on TikTok and other social media platforms where people love seeing what Stephen's bought. So that's all the paperwork of the day and yesterday all caught up with. Stephen's been out buying, so obviously we've got to do the buying in sheets and stuff. He's just bringing the electric bike in now. And we've got more bikes coming down today. I think we've got a Kawasaki KXF 450 what age is it? I think it's like a 13 or a 14. That's gonna be a cheap bike. And we also have a KTM SXF 250 2016.5, which is a factory edition coming down very soon. So these are gonna be really well priced. They shouldn't be too long. So stay tuned, I'll get them on film. The bike away? Yeah, put it away. There's some more to be- People are saying we've got the dream job. The dream job? Yeah. Do you like your job? I love my job. You do. What's your favorite thing about the job? Uh, meeting new people and playing around with these things oh yeah yeah do you get a bit bored and desensitized to them though don't you yeah definitely but we do get some bikes in and we are like oh what did you text me about yesterday what bike do you like 450 gas gas yeah or the 450 23 ktm you texted me didn't you saying that is a bit of me yes so we're gonna have a deal in a minute aren't we no <laughs> <laughs> So our viewers love these old school bikes. These videos always do well. Check out the super rare collection video we did featuring these bikes. So this is obviously freezing cold. It's not been started at all. I want to get it started for the camera because our viewers love these sort of things. Genuinely, that hasn't been started at all in what, a week? More than that. I'd More say, than that, yeah. yeah. So it's a Kickstarter's on the left.
Second kick. Second kick. And this is your sort of era. You race these, don't you? Not these, but you race Makos yeah, of this. Makos is what I ride. And you grew up around these bikes, didn't you? Yeah. Your dad still races them. Dad, brother. Yeah. Uncle did. Nice. That was cool. Got all of that on video as well. Genuinely, second kick. Look how clean it is. Wow, what a cool bike. Guys, this is for sale. Anyone interested? Holly, your boys. So this is a bike we put in our last video. We've not long bought this. Obviously we said it was getting a brand new tire, which it did. I want to give our viewers some information. Now this is what, Stephen, a 2017? 2017 SXF250. Right, and me and you can tell the age of pretty much any bike out there. Let's give the viewers some information. How are you going to tell this is a 2017? Obviously we check the frame number, but there's loads of different ways. Let's give some tips. So how would you tell this is 17? So the most obvious tip yep. is your map switch okay so so this, got this map, is the first control. this is the first age ktm with the big black map switch and the traction control okay cool so this is we know a 2015 is the shape before this this is 16 17 18 the 15 i will put a picture here has a slightly different set of plastics the main one you'll notice is this rear one and, and also the map switch. Yeah. So a 2016 map switch yeah. doesn't have traction control. Yeah. Okay. It has gotcha. A tiny little black lever on the uh, the front brake perch. Yeah. Which we actually have. Yeah, I'll add a video in. Somewhere. So yeah. So the 17 has this traction control. It's the first one of the big black traction control. And how do you know this isn't an 18? The colour of the frame. There we go. We don't pre-record these or, or try and plan these out. This is genuine, us just chatting. So this has got a black frame. The 18 has an orange frame. And there we go. There's some information for you guys. Unless it's a factory edition, it yep. have an orange frame. Yeah, and clamps. Factory edition should have the orange KTM clamps and FMF silencer. And gotcha. And different plastics altogether. Yeah, and we've got one of those coming in soon so we can show the viewers. Thank you for the info, Stephen. It's dark here because we have broken some of the lights throwing the kit bag above the office, but show them the seat, Stephen. So this will be the seat yep. that's going on this bike. That looks so much better. A lot nicer, yep. especially when you get some graphics on there and yep. clean up. Definitely. So we're going to take this seat off and this will get a different seat cover and get prepped for another bike. But that's going to look so much better. Let's have a look. Whee. Very, very nice. That's all part of our job is to make these bikes sort of obviously sellable. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moto X Mad Factory Mechanic. Yeah. Oh. Ah. These colours are looking cool together. I'm going to show you this Kawasaki KXF250. It's got some nice wheels in it. Obviously, brand new tyres. These are reasonably priced bikes. This is just over 2,500 quid. It's a fuel injected bike, HCS, got some nice wheels. That bike is available. I'm surprised it's still in stock, to be honest. These don't normally hang around long. That's cool. Then we've got a 2022 YZF 250, 17SX125. Cool, cool bike with the orange triple clamps. The colours look so good together, don't they? Wow. This, I think, is going to be sold very soon. There you go guys, lights are all fixed now as well. So how much better does that look already with that seat cover? We love transforming these bikes. Wow, coming up for sale very, very soon. So, time to change the grips. Let's show the camera quickly. So a lot of people would leave these, but we want to have a good standard of bikes. These are lock-ons. Yeah. Let's have a look, show people. That's how they're fitted, pretty good. But that's grubby. Time to freshen it up. So it's not as good as it's Steven. No. So a lot of people we see, actually we spoke to a lot of people that don't quite understand these are lock-ons that are bolted inside of here. We see people trying to rip them off. We've seen people trying to shave them off with Stanley blades, but they're good. They are good. We need to order some more tubes actually, don't we Steven? Yeah, I actually prefer lock-on grips. Yeah, I do as well. I feel they're just a bit thicker. Yeah. To get your hands around. And I was saying people shave these down with a Stanley, don't they? Yeah. And then stick a grip over it. It's not. No, it's not right. If you're going to do a job, do it properly. Love this. As I just said, it's going to be a cool transformation. As soon as it's got graphics on, it's going to transform the bike, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah. While you're on camera, what's your favourite bike? 
My favourite bike in stock. Mm. In stock, I would say is most probably the 2023 450 KTM. Nice bike. Or actually, I'm going to change that. Yeah. The CRF 450 50th anniversary. Oh, what a bike! That is very nice. In stock, ready to go. There we go. Stephen's taking it apart. This is what's connected. The rotten cable. And this is what you need to do. It's inside of this housing. This is going to be good. And this side is just a tube. So, a little tip when fitting grips. Yep. Right at the end. Yep. Pierce a tiny little hole. So that when you push the grips on, the air can come out of there and lets the grips... Um, what's the word? Seal better. Yes. Okay, cool. Good tip. As we said, we don't plan these videos. This is all authentic and natural. Right, so another tip, and a lot of people do this, we've seen it a hell of a lot, is people put grease, like actual white grease, all over the throttle for the throttle tube. Okay. Now, this is a big, big no-no. Yeah. Because you get a tiny little bit of dirt in there, a bit of sand, you drop the bike, it, the dirt finds its way everywhere, and you will end up getting a sticky throttle. It's all like gritty, isn't it? Yeah, all horrible, disgusting. And you do not want a sticky throttle because that is dangerous. Very. So what you want to do, clean it up, quite a, quite a regular way, quite a regular thing to do. Clean it up, bit of WD-40 or maintenance spray, whatever you've got, just under the throttle tube, put it back on and it'll be lovely and fresh. Nice. So there we have, we've sprayed it up. Perfect. And lovely and free. Okay. So there it is clipped in. And then lastly, you want to torque them up to your five Newton meters. Gotcha. Perfect. Very nice. There we go, guys. There is the finished product. So we decided to go with the black seat cover. All clean. Graphics are on. Look at that. This will be available now. Talk us through what you've got, Stephen. Just bought these bikes. Just bought this um, 2016 factory edition. Yep. Um, SXF 250. Okay, um, and this is the, this is the map switch we spoke about. This is the map about. switch we spoke about. So yep. it's just one. That's how you two. know it's a 16. Yep, and as I said, comes with clamps. Yep. Orange frame. Yep. And also FMS silencer. FMS silencer. Cool bike. Lovely, lovely. They look really nice. These are really popular, aren't they? Yeah. Featuring my Red Bull. Okay, and we just bought this bike as well. Yes, now this is... This is a 2015... We check. I'm pretty sure it's a 2015 KXF 450. Um, it's had fork seals, brand new Dunlop tyres. It's actually really clean as well, really, isn't it? Really, really clean example of this. I think new plastics and graphics. Yeah, nice real, bike. Nice bike. It's really, really clean. This bike's coming up for sale very, very soon. Check out our socials if you guys are interested. These are good for winter, actually, 450s. Cheaper fuel injected 450s. These don't hang around, do they? No. So, purchased that and we've purchased that. This is the electric bike that's been prepped. That's coming up for sale. Two of these in stock and a third coming soon. This bike's had some work done. That needs cleaning, doesn't it, Stephen? Yeah. What is that, a 350, 20? 21, 350, a brand new 0L top end. Okay, that's been rebuilt. Nice bike, we've got some good stock. Yep. Another busy day, let's start this up. That was another busy day. Done. Time to take this ripper for an MOT. So loud. Still freezing cold out. That's another day in the life of bike dealer. As I said, every day we're always doing something. We're always super busy dealing with bookings, dealing with appointments, 
we're always up to something. People love what we get up to. It's quite an interesting life, I suppose. So we're going to be showing you guys more of that. But thanks again for watching another one of our videos. Please remember to like and subscribe. Sun shining, bad angle. But here we go. So the car's getting MOT'd now. Stephen's just sent through loads of uh, pictures of bikes. He's just prepped. So they're gonna go online. This is as real as it gets. Um, we're not gonna sh ever sugarcoat it, you know. We're always gonna be honest and uh, transparent. So this is what we do. I'm gonna sit here now, start uploading bikes to uh, social media pages and obviously eBay, etc. The guy here, I've actually sold him a bike before. He's got Kawasaki. He's just speaking to me. He wants a part exchange with an enduro bike. So we're gonna find him an enduro bike. So the grind never stops and we love it. We love being around the bike. So thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.